Hello and welcome to Technology Lair. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 server on your virtual Oracle VirtualBox. So you need to have the Oracle VirtualBox installed on your system and second, you need to have a DVD or an ISO file of your Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 server. So this is the link from where you can download the Oracle VirtualBox. Just click on this link if you want to download it for the Windows and there are different options. Uh, different platforms here such as your Mac, your Linux and Solaris and what you need to do is just double click the executable and just follow the on-screen instructions to install the virtual box it's not a, a very typical installation just you need to click on next next and follow the on-screen instructions and the second thing is you should have a DVD or an ISO file I'm having an ISO file so once you have finished the installation you'll get a shortcut on the desktop just double click on the shortcut to open the oracle virtual box in the upper left corner you see new just click on new it will give this virtual machine name as red hat so once you type in red hat it will automatically take the type as Linux and the version as the Red Hat. Just click on next. Here you need to allocate the amount of RAM to your virtual machine. The recommended size is 512 MB but I recommend it to at least you should have 1 GB of your RAM allocated to the virtual machine. So you can drag this cursor here or you can directly enter here 1024 MB which is equal to 1 GB. Just click next. Here check this option, create a virtual hard drive now. This is the virtual hard drive where you will be installing your Oracle, sorry your Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. So leave this op checkbox as it is and click on create. Leave the first checkbox as it is. There are different file types for your virtual machine but you can leave this as it is and click on next and here is the two options that is the dynamically allocated and a fixed size in dynamically allocated if your virtual hard drive space is full your virtual machine will take space from your hard drive it will allocate some space from your hard drive and if you are keeping it fixed it will be a fixed partition so I recommend that you should keep this as fixed size and click on next here is the amount of your storage space which you are giving to your hard disk uh, I think 8 GB is enough for the basic installation. If you want, you can increase this. You can enter whatever amount of space you want. I'll, I'm leaving this as it is as 8 GB and click on create. So it is creating an virtual hard drive on your system. Let's wait till it's completed. So our virtual machine is created now. The next step is you need to click this machine and go to settings. In the settings, you'll find a storage option. Just click on the storage. And here in the disk, you have a symbol of a disk and it's empty. Just click on that. And from here, you need to select the uh, your DVD drive or else you can select the ISO file so I'm having an ISO so I'll select the ISO just go to your file location and open the file and click on OK so once you're done with this just click on start so just click on the start So your, your Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 is booting from the ISO inside the virtual machine. So just click on install or upgrade, click on install.
now just skip the testing of the media you can use the arrow keys and click enter to skip So your Red Hat installation screen will pop up once your all the files are tested then just click on next select the language and click on next select your keyboard layout by default it's US English and click on next select the basic storage you can also select specialized storages but uh, for the sake of uh, demonstrating the installation I am I'll be installing Red Hat with all the basic uh, configurations so I'll select the basic storage and click on next click on yes discard any data Type in your host names. I'll leave this changes as it in, but you can also give your complete host name here, and you can enter this fully qualified domain name and click on next. I'll leave this as it is at default and click on next. Select your time zone and then click next. Assign a root password. Yo. It will give a warning if you are using a weak password. I will click, uh, click on use anyway. And here are different options for uh, the partitioning. So first is the use all space. If you select this option it will remove all the, it will create, it will use all the free space available. And if you are having an existing installation you can check this. It, it can automatically partition your system and uh, replace the existing Linux system. And there are different options but uh, I will teach you how to create a custom layout so let's see, uh, click on the custom layout and click next but if you find it little bit uh, difficult to creating a custom layout you can also use the different options such as your use free space or uh, is you can also use the different options for this installation you can use all the space you can use free space it will automatically create the partitions for you but uh, I'll select a create a custom layout and click on next so this is the hard drive which we have created the virtual hard drive for of 8 GB just click on this and in the bottom click on create so we'll create a standard partition click on create for Linux you need to assign a swap memory first so I'll assign a swap space of 1 GB it is recommended that you give a swap space 2x the size of your RAM so if you are having a 1 GB RAM you can give a swap space of 2 GB just multiply the RAM size by 2 so you can do it I uh, will leave this as 1024 and click on OK and then again click on free and create then again a standard partition I'll create the mount point as boot wherein you your all the uh, configuration files for booting the system will be kept the file system as ATX4 which is the latest one for the Linux and 100 MB is enough for the boot partition click on OK now again click free and you can create a standard partition once again and I'll allocate all the space to the root partition now your home folders your every partition will come under root so I'll give the complete free space that is 7067 to the root partition and click OK and once you're done with this click on next click on format and click on write changes to this if you are not sure then you can go back and do the changes again I'll click on write changes to disk so it is now creating the partitions and formatting the 
partition with the file system. So this is the configuration for the bootloader. So I leave these changes as it is. If you are installing the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 or any Red Hat or any Linux uh, servers on the, directly on your system wherein you have a different operating system, then it will, you have to change these options. You can change the options also after installing this, but I'll keep this as it is and click on next. Here is a different type of installation, first is the basic server, a database server, a web server. But I'll be showing you a desktop installation because uh, in all the server installations you will not find a graphical user interface. It's, it's only a command line interface so if you are uh, installing this, if you are watching this video to learn Linux and for the first time you are installing Linux then it is good that you install a desktop version because you will find a graphical user interface. If you, but if you select servers, you will get a command line interface with this and it will be a bit messy if you are uh, using the Linux for the first time. So I recommend that if you are using Linux and Red Hat servers for the first time, select desktop and click next. Leave this all the options as it is. It are some a bit of advanced options because if you, if you are an advanced user, you can use this. Uh, you can also uh, learn Linux means if you are after learning Linux you can use this kind of options up for the installation but for the beginners I recommend that you leave all the options as it is and click on click next let's wait till all the checks are complete So your installation is starting now. It will start copying all the files so it will take near about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to complete the installation. So we will wait till the process is completed. So we are finished with the installation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6. Just click on reboot the system and we'll wait till the uh, our system is rebooted and we log in to our uh, server for the first time. So once your system reboots, you need to enter some details. Just click forward. Accept the agreement and click forward. Click forward. Type in the username. Type in the password and click forward you need to set the date and the time once it is set click next or forward 
ignore this warning and click on OK and click on finish. So now you need to enter your login credentials. So I'll login it with the root user. So click on other and enter your user ID and password. So the username is root and the password which you have set for the root user. So here we have successfully installed our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 on inside your virtual box. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. For more videos on Linux, Oracle, Android and Windows tips and tutorials, please subscribe my channel on YouTube. Once again, thanks for watching.